part six, the perimeter of combined figures. You will find this on page 247 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Combined figures. Combined figures are figures made up of a number of distinct shapes. To find the perimeter of a combined figure, you just find the distance around the outside edge of the combined figure. You add up all the lengths. So find the perimeter of each figure. Now first make sure you have all the signs. That's 14. Now that little stripe is meaning this two are equal. So if this is 9, then this will also be 9. Now remember, up to there it's 19. But from there to there, it will be exactly the same as the top one. So this will be 14. So I'm basically just going to start at the point. Let's just mark. I start at the point. And then I'm just going to go all around the outside lines until I end at that same point. So to find the perimeter, it's just going to be 14 plus 9 plus 9 plus 14 plus 11. And the answer will be 57 centimeters. And if I look at this one, I can check I have all the sides. So again, just start at a point. So I'm just going to say, this 6 plus this 3 plus 4 plus 10 plus 11 plus 10, and the answer will be 44 centimeter. So start at the vertex and move around the figure until you reach the same vertex. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do, try now 10. Do number A and B, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So try now 10. Let's start with number A. Now before you start, make sure you have all the sides. Remember, if this is 13, then this one will be 30. So this will be 30 and this will be 18. So basically, this, is this one from there to there will be exactly the same as the top one. That will be 18. And the difference between that will be that little part. The difference between 30 and 18 will be that part. Okay, now if I start with the perimeter, I'm just going to say the sum of the lengths of, oh, I can say the five sides. So if I look at this, I'm going to start at this point, so just mark. So it's going to be 18 plus 13 plus another 13 plus another 18 plus 10, and that will give me an answer of 72 centimeters. And if I look at number B, oh, I have all the sides, not a problem. So again, the perimeter is the sum of the lengths of the five sides. So it's again going to be, just start here, doesn't matter where. So 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6. And that's going to give me an answer of 19 centimeters. Okay, let's look at example 11. Find the perimeter of the figure. But if you look, you have that, but you don't have that one. You have this one, you have this one. You don't have this one, and you have this one. But due to the fact that all the angles are 90 degrees, you can say that this horizontal line will be equal to this one plus this one. So basically, I can say 8 plus 3, and that one will be 11 centimeters. Now do the same with the vertical line. So look here. This vertical one will be equal to this one plus this one. So if I have this one 10, I can just subtract that 4, and I will find that this one here will be 6. So 6 plus 4 will give me that 10. So always remember, if the angles are 90 degrees, we can go on this principle. Now, if you start, and this is just what I'm saying here, first find the length of the unknown sides. Due to the 90, the following lines are equal. So all the horizontal, and I showed you there, and this is why this one was 11. And I showed you the vertical, so by finding this one, I just get the difference between this, because this two must add up to this one. And now I can just add it, and I can start again there, so it's 8 plus 10 plus 
11 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6. And I'm finding the perimeter of the figure. Okay. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do, try now 11, do A and B. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So first copy the example. Okay. Let's start. Um, we're going to do... Try now 11. And we're going to start with A. But before we start, we must first make sure we have all the sides. So if we look, this one is 9 and this one is 3. So then this one will be 6. Because remember, this vertical line is to the sum of this two. Okay. Let's see if I have all of them. It seems to me I have... Oh, here. This horizontal line will be equal to this one plus this one. So if this one is 16, I subtract the 3, and then this one will be 13. And now it will be easy. So to find the perimeter, it will be the sum of the lengths of the sides. So this is going to be, and where am I going to start? It doesn't really matter. I'm going to start here. So it's 9 plus 3 plus 6 plus 13 plus 3 plus, um, let's just see, plus 16. So basically, I'm just going, so it's 9 plus 3 plus 6 plus 13 plus 3 plus 16. And I'm, start, I'm ending where I start, and my final answer will be 50 centimeters. And I can just end by saying the perimeter of the figure is 50 centimeters. Okay, let's look at number B. Now, it, first make sure you have all the sides. So it seems to me, oh, there's one missing. Due to the fact that it's 90, I can go and say, that if this one is free, then this one will also be free. Okay, now look, there's my horizontal. That's free minus free because this plus this plus this must give me 10. So 10 minus free minus free, so it's 10 minus 6, so this one will be 4. And again, if this one is 8, so remember, this one plus this one, this vertical one must give me 8. So 8 minus 2, so then this one will be what? This one will be 6. And then I must still find this one. So remember, if that is 3, what will this one also be? 3. So 10 minus 3, I'm again at the horizontal ones. So that will be 7. So 7 plus 3 will be 10. And now I can start. I can say the perimeter is equal to the sum of the lengths. of the sides. So I'm just going to start adding up. And where am I going to start adding up? It doesn't really matter where, but I think let's start here on top. So it's going to be 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6 plus 7 plus 2 plus 3 plus 8. Okay, so I hope I covered all, but it's 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6 plus 7 plus 2 plus 3 plus 8. And that will give me an answer of 42 centimeters. And I can just end by saying the perimeter of this figure is 42 centimeters.